Radio 1510 and 99.3 FM. Right now it's 102 degrees and a little less than an hour before the market closes today. The Dow is up 76 points at 17,968. S&P 500 up 2 at 2103 and the NASDAQ is down 26 at 5,086. Reporting for Money Radio, I'm Ken Morgan. The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Money Radio staff, management, or advertisers, and do not represent an offer to buy or sell any securities. Some interviews heard on this program may be sponsored by the participants. It's time for Health Futures with Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. This is Arizona's only show dedicated to providing you with expert advice on how to live a longer, healthier, and happier life. To learn more, call 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Bob Roth. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Roth, and you are listening to Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. We're a weekly show found right here on Money Radio, 1510 AM, 99.3 FM, and found right on the World Wide Web at www.moneyradio15.com. And it is Friday, June 26, and we've had an active week this week, uh, politically as well as in health care. And I've got my co-pilot in place here, my co-host, uh, our Vice President of Client Services at Cypress Home Care Solutions, Paul Fredericks. Good to be here, Bob. Well, it's good to have you as my co-host. And uh, we have a guest that we'll introduce in a few minutes here, but we want to talk about some of the stuff that happened this week. Absolutely. You know, uh, SCOTUS, which yep. is uh, the acronym for? Supreme Court in the United States. That's right. Supreme Court. Uh, they issued a big ruling yesterday, and they did another one today. But the one I really want to talk about is the one yesterday, and that is they gave us a, a very a, a key decision on the Affordable Care Act. And it was a decision, uh, just so the people understand, and many of you do, maybe you don't, it was a lawsuit that was King versus Burwell that uh, upheld the legality of subsidies for the Affordable Care Act, uh, who purchase health insurance off of these exchanges. Right. And, uh, you know, one of the things that was ruled was the federal piece of that, you know, especially with states like Arizona that did not have a state subsidy. Now the federal subsidies will kick in. Exactly. And, you know, the landscape of health care, Paul, you and I have talked about it. It has changed and it is forever changing. What we see here today is going to be different tomorrow, and it will be different from tomorrow to the next day. There's really no going back to what we used to have. Well, just last week's show, and if you missed last week's show, listener, you can go back to that on cypresshomecare.com, click on last week's date, and we discussed this extensively with our guest, Michael, and um, about how we're changing that flat tire at 70 miles an hour. Yeah, we are. And he gave us great insight as to what was happening over the U.K. and what we're seeing here today. And, and what's interesting is that you know, health care and this show, if you're just tuning in, is a show about our aging adult population and how they can live a healthier, happier life. And we have great guests, and no exception today, we have a great guest today, but each one of our guests lends some great insight on how to do that. So, you know, without getting into the politics, right. the politics are what they are. We, are. we have the Affordable Care Act, and now we have not only state but we got federal subsidies to help America because there was that number, 40 million Americans that were going without health insurance so that we could cover them so they would put less stress onto not only the health care system but less stress on our economic system. Well, the one thing that we can all agree on is the fact that we want better outcomes. 
and that's what we're looking at right now. If you if you want to look at this one way or the other, whether you're on the left or right, we can all agree that we want better outcomes. And that's the key, whether we're talking about in-home care like Cypress Home Care or we're talking about something major, uh, cancer surgery or some other uh, uh, health care concern that you might have. It's about the outcomes, not just treating an illness, but prevention, uh, diet, nutrition, socialization, spiritualization. It's the whole nine yards of outcomes. And, you know, it's interesting. You, you, you describe all those pieces and parts to outcomes. We've had guests on the show to talk about all those things, Absolutely. including spirituality. Yep. We, we had a lead pastor and a rabbi on. So if you've missed our shows in the past, uh, we've been on the air now for going on 19 months. We have about 80 episodes or 80 podcasts that are sitting up on our website at cypresshomecare.com. I encourage you as a listener, go take a listen to them. Had some great guests, and today's guest is... Uh, Right up there with the other. So, Paul, take it away. Yeah, our guest today is just an honor to have her with us. Uh, she is part of an organization called Adult Care Connection. This is a group of uh, uh, MSWs, uh, medical social workers, who have extensive, extensive uh, experience in what they do. Uh, they've come from discharge planning, from uh, major hospitals, to um, others who have who are even studying at the age of uh, 62. Another one of her clients yet uh, that we know mutually, she's studying for a PhD right now, and uh, she is she started she started at 62. I think she told me she's 65 now, yeah. and she'll finish yeah. at 66. Yeah. So that's not that, our guest. That's another no one of that, her companion. That's another person exactly. Yeah. And and you know I I just want to chime in about our guest, and you'll introduce her in a second is you know as much as our aging adult population want to stay at home and and the consensus is aging in place is the desired solution you and i both know and our guest knows it's not for everybody not everybody can stay at home correct and there are solutions out there and our guest has those solutions wonderfully and without any further uh do we're going to introduce mary carpenter welcome to Health Futures, taking stock in you. We are honored to have you as our guest. Thank you. <laughs> it's very nice to be here. Well, we're, we're almost coming up on a break, but why don't we do this before we do that, and that is uh, talk to us about what is Adult Care Connection. Our company is a locating service, and what that means is that we assist people in locating assisted living settings, and that could be either assisted living centers where a person may have their own apartment, or it could be the residential homes that are available in our um, our community that are all licensed by the state. And in that particular area, people are unaware often of that particular resource, and locating services are helpful in um, thinking and broadening the way that people look at long-term care and, and where to live if they can't live at home anymore. Perfect. Now, how long has Adult Care Connection been around? How, how, how old is the company? It was started by two medical social workers in 19, 1996, and uh, the rest of us have joined along the way. And uh, I've been with them since 1999, and um, I enjoyed the work very much. Um, we, um, our service is free to the public, which is um, uh, very helpful uh, to the uh, individuals. Uh, where there's no obligation if they start, uh, if we start providing services to them. And um, so um, we can make a nice relationship and not have to get into to uh, whether they qualify financially for us or anything like that. That's perfect. So it, there, it, there's no charge on that whatsoever. Right. And if someone wants to know more about that, we're going to give your number out right now. They could just do that right now. It's 480-380-2348. And you can also discover them on the World Wide Web at www.adultcareconnection.com. And we'll be back after this uh, next break. But right now, I just want to reach out to our listeners. And if you are having questions about in-home care, should you keep your loved one at home? Should you call Mary Carpenter? Just give us a call at Cypress Home Care at 602 264 
800-888-8009. We've got a great team that will answer your questions, and we'll even get you over to Mary Carpenter if that's what you want as well. We want to find solutions for you. That's why Solutions is in our name, Cypress Home Care Solutions. And i got to tell you what, Mary, it's so good to have you in the house today. Thank you so much for joining us as we're just about ready to take a break. Bob, anything else? You know, the only thing I want to add is that most people think that it costs money to find these assisted living places. And to know that I can engage a service like you, Mary, to help our clients and help our aging adults find places for their loved ones to live, is such a great resource. Mm-hmm. It really is. And great I'm, advantage. I'm excited to learn more. We'll Getting be right back. Take a break. Laura Bramnick is a real estate agent and a real estate attorney. Laura Bramnick knows that a good attorney safeguards her clients and their well-being. Each decision or direction she and her clients make together is with one purpose, the most effective resolution, for now and for the future. For more information, visit talkrealestateaz.com or call 480-624-2705, 480-624-2705. To talk with Laura, call 480-624-2705. Now here's Certified Income Specialist, Steve Jurich. Steve Jurich here. Are you making this annuity mistake? The most popular variable annuity on the market today has total fees of 4.15%. Not kidding. That puts you in direct violation of the 4% withdrawal rule on day one. Withdraw 5% for income on top of that, and you're depleting 9.15% of your money every year before making a dime. If you didn't just fall off a turnip truck and want to make a superior annuity decision, call me today. I track over 2,700 annuities and can guide you to the lowest cost, highest income, uncapped annuities on the market today with complete protection for your heirs. Call leading annuity authority Steve Jurich now. 480-902-3333. 480-902-3333. Guarantees rely on the claims paying ability of the insurer, so compare with Steve. 480 480- 902-3333. Call Steve now. If your business is struggling to hire someone to support your computer systems, then Team Logic IT can help. Outsource your IT support and call Team Logic IT today. 602-254-5558. For less than the cost of one IT employee, you can have a whole IT department supporting your business. This month's special is a free consultation tailored to your business goals. Call Team Logic IT today for your free consultation. 602-254-5558. SRP reminds you to stop, think, and remember. Always watch kids around the pool. For more safety advice, visit srpnet.com slash safety. Now back to Health Futures. Taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Welcome back. My name is Bob Roth, and you are listening to Health Futures, Taking Stock in You. We're a weekly show found right here on Monday Radio, 1510 AM, 99.3 FM, and on the World Wide Web at moneyradio1510.com. And if you missed our first segment, uh, we are here with Mary Carpenter, for Adult Care Connections, helping people find places to live if they can't live at home. And it's very exciting to have you here in, in the studio with us, Mary. Uh, it's a wonderful day, uh, June 26th. It's only like 112 degrees outside. <laughs> you know, I want you to know, Paul, I was watching one of these news segments. I think it was Channel 12. And what they did was, and it was over a couple hours, they put chocolate chip cookie dough on a cookie sheet. And they put it on the dashboard in a parked car. And the cookies cooked. Oh, absolutely. They cooked. I mean, and and they they came out like two hours later and they were crispy and everything like that. I live in Anthem. And what they did is there was a church group up there that fried an egg on on the concrete. That's just crazy. (laughs) But, you know, I I, I know we hear this in the news. And, you know, I want to just put a reminder out to those people out there. You know, uh, they, they say check before you click. Uh, you know, lock your car. Um, 
we have too many instances where animals and children are left in the car, and yep. and, and these are really, really... The, 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 this is a big concern for our community, and, and we just need to be aware of those people that are in our car and, and keep them out of those types of situations. Well, we got a tagline with the pools in the backyard. Two minutes is too long, but we need to expand that to, to vehicles. Two minutes is too long. Yeah, it is. I mean, those cars can get up to 180 degrees real fast. Yeah, and, and you might even think about leaving an elderly, elderly person in a car. Don't do it. They, they're probably dehydrated to begin with because they forget to drink. And we need to keep reminding them. So this is a great time to remind people, hey, look, go over to your loved one, offer them a glass of Gatorade, uh, orange juice, something. Give them some water right Right. now. Absolutely. Uh, Water is usually the best, especially since we have a lot of our aging adult population that may be uh, type 2 or type 1 diabetic. Um, the other thing that uh, you know we subscribe to, especially because we want our aging adult population moving, and when it's 110 degrees, 112 degrees, it's a little too hot to be moving. You know, we need blood circulation. We need to prevent clotting. Um, the malls, right. the malls open up early, typically about 7 a.m. Um, you'll find a lot of the silver sneaker groups there walking, and uh, we encourage our listening audience if you have. Loved ones, or if you know someone that is aging and aging in place and uh, maybe not being as active, I'm going to tell you, Paul, and Mary, you probably agree with me. uh, When I come home at the end of the day and it's 112 degrees, I'm exhausted. Right. I'm absolutely exhausted. This heat will just suck the living life out of you. Mm -hmm. So we need them to be active. Absolutely. And we're going to go back with Mary Carpenter. Again, it's great to have you. And uh, we were just talking a little bit about the background of ACC, uh, Adult Care Connection, for those just joining us. And uh, you guys have been around since 1996, you mentioned. Uh, You're a group of medical social workers. Um, But combined, all of your experiences... How many years of of experience do you have? What what uh, combined wisdom? I think you said over a hundred years earlier when we were talking. Yeah, off the air. Between uh, uh, all of us uh, combined, none of us are youngsters, so we all have our um, backgrounds and time spent in uh, providing social work to uh, people in the healthcare field. Great. So if I was considering place, uh, placement for a loved one or a friend, maybe a, a church or a faith community, synagogue, individual that I know and love, and trying to find the right fit for them, why would I consider a, a placement service, Mary? Well, uh, right now, you know, a lot of people believe that there's um, plenty of access to resource information, especially on the Internet. So many people start there and begin to look at uh, this place or that place and um, figure out what where they need to to uh, place their rel- relative. Usually, it's the family members that are looking in behalf of someone older. Right. So they then all of a sudden they realize how overwhelming this um, kind of black hole, as I call it, is of resource information. And they begin to wonder, you know, and become overwhelmed. And that's when it's so helpful to choose a locating service. Uh, there are several, reasons, several steps that we take that really help to narrow down the resources for the client. This would include doing an assessment of the client's needs, and then we would um, talk to the family about location, because it's so important that the family members are near to where their relative is so they can visit and continue their relationships. We always say that once, especially if you're a husband and wife and you're placing your husband, once you have the person in placement, you can go back to being their wife Mm -hmm. and you don't have to continue being that caregiver. And you can go and visit and you can take them out to lunch and you can have some time with them, yet the care is being provided 24 hours by uh, certified caregivers, and you can trust and feel comfortable that that's being handled for you. So, uh, you mentioned that it's overwhelming when you look at placement agents, and, and folks, I'll just tell you how overwhelming it is. I just did a Google search, placement agents in Arizona, and I have 593 hits I can go to. 
over five ninety three five hundred ninety three thousand wow. hits. That's almost as many home care companies there are. <laughs> There's seven hundred of them here in the valley. So yeah, it, it is it is daunting and it's overwhelming and. You one, know, of the, one of the reasons for that is there's no licensure for a placement agent. So anybody can become a placement agent and begin to to uh, provide that kind of service to people. Yeah. That's why our advantage of having professional people in our placement services is uh, why we're exceptional. Uh, we have that background. We have uh, the social work ethical background that is um, very important, in my opinion, so that people can trust that we're not going to um, exaggerate what's available to them, give them, uh, try to maneuver their monies, mm-hmm. um, which, of course, we all know with long term care, so much of the cost of the uh, out-of-home care payments are based on private pay. So people's budget is attacked <laughs> by this process. And uh, unless they have some kind of long-term care insurance that they've purchased back when they were in their 60s or 50s, or they're eligible for the state long-term care program called Arizona Long-Term Care System, right? they end up having to um, get their money you, you uh, know, out of their assets. You know, you brought up something that's really important, and, and I've talked about it here on our show, and that is you talked about how that individual can go back to being the spouse mm-hmm. and not the caregiver. And i got to tell you, Mary, that is so important, and I want our listening audience to hear this because we've said it over and over again especially with our aging adult population, when a, a, a couple that is 65 and older and one of them has some type of illness, the stress, physical and emotional, that is put on that family caregiver is overwhelming. Enormous. Enormous. Matter of fact, statistically, we know that over 63% of the time, the caregiver predeceases the care recipient. So, you know, if you're listening in, I mean, placement isn't a bad thing. It isn't a bad thing when you can go visit that person and be that spouse. And that way, both of you can be enjoying somewhat of a healthy life because it is hard work. Absolutely. The other thing you brought up was, you know, affordability. Uh, we have Altex and Access here in Arizona, Altex being the long-term care insurance, which is, if you're from another state like I am, uh, we would call that Medicaid in Ohio, where I came from, and other states. But it's our version of Medicaid. And um, But if someone's listening to us right now, Mary, and they're thinking, well, gosh, I mean, on average, how much a month should I be thinking about for, um, for, for assisted living? We've got about 30 seconds left. It would, uh, you would have to think in terms of about between 2500 to 3000 a month for your uh, long-term care setting. Um, it varies remarkably from one place to it another does. and yeah. how it's, ma- how it's um, uh, organized and then also what level of care you are. So. Right. So 2500 to 3000 and it can go up from there. Especially, especially here in Scottsdale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're talking nine or $10,000. you are listening to Healthcare Futures, taking stock in you, listener, because we'll make you healthy, happy, and thriving right there in your home. I'm Paul Fredericks with Bob Roth and Mary Carpenter. We're so glad you joined us. We're going to make it a great day together. As we reach the bottom of the hour, we pause for a look at the world's news. Then we're back with Money Talk. We're Money Radio 1510 and 99.3 FM. Special report. The high court rules gay marriage is a right. Same-sex marriage is now legal in all 50 states. In the majority opinion, Justice Anthony Kennedy wrote, No union is more profound than marriage. Correspondent Stacy Cohen has details on the justices who disagree. In one of the dissenting opinions, Chief Justice John Roberts argued the court should not be able to set such a precedent. Under the Constitution, judges have the power to say what the law is, not what the law should be. 
And in another dissent, Justice Samuel Alito says it's not the court's role to decide, but rather the Constitution leaves that question to be decided by the people of each state. Well, a couple in Nashville, Tennessee has been married, and marriage licenses are being issued in Georgia, Ohio, Arkansas, and other states. The Texas Attorney General urged counties to wait for guidance before issuing licenses, but many are granting them anyway. I'm Evan Haining. What's RDO, you ask? Well, it's your soundtrack for good days and the not-so-good days. It's your party mix and your chill mix. Basically, RDO puts endless stations in your pocket or on your tablet. Launch a station based on an artist or genre or build a custom music station that's totally you. And it's free until you say otherwise. That's R-D-I-O. RDO. Tuned to you. Do you want to learn how to mask your identity to browse inappropriate websites and stream media while at the office? Well, we can't help you with that. But among the many IT problems we solve, Barracuda's web security solutions keep online activity clean and ensure Internet bandwidth performance. Reclaim your network like 150,000 other businesses already have. To learn more about preventing web-based threats, visit barracuda.com slash web. The Arizona Better Business Bureau reminds Money Radio listeners to beware of scam artists after the monsoon storms hit. Check monsoon.arizonabbb.org. Do you need to sell your home and want to get top dollar using a proven marketing system? How about a guarantee to sell your home in 59 days or less? Be sure to listen to Brian from the Yelder team at Home Smart as he joins Ken Morgan on Business for Breakfast this and every Friday morning at 724 for a new segment called Buyers and Sellers. Brian will discuss preparation, marketing, strategy, and what buyers are looking for to get your top dollar for your home. So tune in for Buyers and Sellers this and every Friday at 724 a.m. right here on Money Radio 15. 1510 AM and 99.3 FM. You don't have to worry about, okay, do I have to look at the dollar? I don't have time to know if the dollar goes up, why it's going up. Who's going to tell me that? You think your broker, your planner is going to tell you that? Of course not. But here at Phil's Gang, you haven't got to worry about that. I will set the stocks up for you. Every morning, I tell my students, if the dollar is going to be up today, here's the stocks we're going to be in. If the dollar is going to be down today, here's the stocks we're going to be in. Does your planner do that? Does your money manager do that for you every day? I do that for my gang every day. If, and the main thing is the bank stocks. If these aren't doing good, you know the account sucks. And right now, the banks aren't going up. They know a correction is coming. And we know another QE4 is coming. We are setting up for a nice correction. And if you're a gang member, you're going to take advantage of that and you're going to make money as the market goes down. Yes, you are. For more information, simply go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Johnny D. And I'm Rick the Professor Plum. Every day on Bucket Strategy Investing, we're talking about financial planning, investment decisions, and retirement strategies. We focus on wealth education and the strategy designed for the needs you have today and the goals you have for the future. Tune in to Bucket Strategy Investing and call in with questions, retirement strategies, taxes, social security, and more. That's what we're talking about on Bucket Strategy Investing. At Kubota, value means getting more than you expected for less than you thought. Visit your Kubota dealer today for incredible finance offers and instant cash rebates. That's value. That's Kubota. I'm Bruce Vale with Your Money Now. Some AOL shareholders want more than the $50 a share Verizon paid to take the web company private earlier this week. Investors owning at least 4 million shares of AOL didn't sell their stock to Verizon and instead told the company they plan to seek a higher price in court through a legal process known as appraisal. That $4.4 billion deal closed on Tuesday. DreamWorks Studios has acquired the movie rights to the Michael Crichton novel Micro. The high-concept thriller was unfinished when Michael Crichton died in 2008 and was later completed by author Richard Preston and published by HarperCollins in 2011. It spent over 20 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. Stocks are trading mostly higher today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is now up 78 points. The Nasdaq Composite is down 26 points. The S&P 500 is up 1. That's your money now. By 2025. 
It's estimated that half the world's population will lack access to safe drinking water. A sorry state of affairs as two-thirds of our planet is covered by water. We are helping develop solutions for salt water to satisfy the thirst of future generations. BASF. We create chemistry. America was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today, at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full-color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 4545 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com, promo code 4545. I've now back to health futures taking stock in you if you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care call 602-264-8009 now here's your host cypress home care solutions bob roth welcome back my name is bob roth you're listening to Health Futures Taking Stock in You. I've got in the studio today Paul Fredericks, our Vice President of Client Services with Cypress Home Care. And we've got Mary Carpenter from Adult Care Connections. And when we last left off, we were talking about this great work that Adult Care Connections has been doing for 19 years and uh, probably the oldest assisted living locating service here in the community, uh, if not one of them, because mm-hmm. there's so many of them. As you said, Paul, earlier, you came up with a hit of like 500 Mm -hmm. uh, solutions. And just like with Cypress, when we started in 1994, we were one of 10, and now there are over 700. So there are a lot of people that are in the space. And you know what? When When you really get to the core of it, the most important thing, and Mary, I think you all agree with this, it's trust. Mm -hmm. People have to trust you. And, you know, Adult Care Connections has got an incredible reputation in our community, as does Cypress Home Care Solutions. And it's about trust because you're trusting that solutions-oriented company, like either of ours, with the care, with the assistance of their loved ones. I mean, this isn't, this isn't a thing or place or material piece. It is their loved ones. Right. And the consumer is not going to a showroom to look to buy something, you're inviting that individual into your home and you're allowing them into your space that we normally don't let people come into unless they're a close friend or a relative. Um, and and that, that's, a, that's a little bit of intimacy that we're not, not always comfortable with. Absolutely. You know, Paul, I'm going to turn the reins over to you. Sure. you, know, you you've got the pilot seat for right now. I, I've got a, an appointment I've got to run to. So Great. Mary and Paul... The show is yours, and you know we talked about it at the break. Um, right. Love to hear some of the success stories, Mary, that Adult Care Connections has had with so many of the families that you serve here in the community. So you guys take it away. Thanks, Bob. Safe journeys. Thank you, Mary. We talked during the break that we did a, a Google search for assisted livings, and we came up with 1.6 million hits <laughs> just for the state of Arizona. Right? Crazy. How do you begin searching? But you were talking about how you helped a family go from that 1.6 million opportunities down to a, a manageable number. Talk to us about that, that process. How did, you, how did you do that with that family? Well, just as you mentioned about the uh, very uh, important word trust, uh, our whole process is geared in order to try to develop the trust with the resident in a rather short-term kind of situation because many times people are facing a crisis. It's not something that they have a lot of leisure for and it's something they haven't thought of before. So someone now is in the hospital and they can't go home again or the caregiver uh, wife is not in a position to be able to care for them now that their level of care has changed. So we go to the hospital, meet with the wife and the client, and talk to the therapist, talk with the staff to see just what the needs of this resident 
are going to be when they're discharged. The same would be true in a skilled nursing facility if they had a stint there before they went uh, on to uh, long-term care. So then we go and um, talk on the phone, keep the wife informed as to what we're doing, and then get lots of information from her about their budget, um, the location that they're interested in, and um, then usually uh, we'll uh, pick her up and take her to look at some homes. Um, the one lady, um, I took her two different times on two different tours. She saw about eight commu uh, actually group homes in this case. She liked the smaller, more intimate arrangement of the five to ten bed home. Mm -hmm. And then we, uh, uh, she chose one. And then we help to expedite the transfer, uh, getting the paperwork, getting her connected with the owner of the care home so they could uh, facilitate the paperwork and all that's uh, necessary and to make the payment arrangements. The big problem is for people to understand what they can afford. And um, we try to help them just with some guidelines. We don't get into a lot of information about their budget other than what they establish as their need. Okay. All right. And and so when you were helping that couple, uh, sometimes you also work with adult children because um, maybe maybe one of the spouses has already passed away. Um, and what can you share a time where you've helped out adult children to do that? Because many of the people listening to us are in that sandwich generation, and they're helping their parents who are aging, but they still have maybe uh, one or two children at home. Right. Just now I've had a situation like that that where the um, their mother w was living at home and she um, uh, went into the hospital. Well, she was in another uh, setting that mm -hmm. wasn't me was an independent type of setting. Then she went in the hospital. Uh, her care needs changed and they wanted um, um, she needed a higher level of care. And within two days after meeting with them, after taking them, Ask, telling them about a care home that was close by. In this case, it was one I was familiar with that I wasn't afraid would not be just the right one. Um, I took the daughter there, met her at the home, and now the lady's placed already, and that's been in just about two, three days. So it can be a crisis. In another case, I've taken a lady to four or five facilities, uh, centers, um, that have memory care uh, uh, sections, and she's looking for a place for her husband, but she wants to plan ahead, and she's not ready right this minute. Mm. And yet we don't turn that person away. We work with them maybe in September or maybe even December. Uh, the uh, placement will come to fruition. So it doesn't really matter about the timing as long as people are interested in uh, pursuing a, a, some interesting um, searches. Right. Now, you mentioned a key word in that last story, helping this uh, gal who is just thinking about it right now. She may have to make a move in the fall, but you said she was planning. Talk about that to our listeners. How important is it to plan now rather than wait until you're in a crisis? Oh, it's important to uh, always start planning, especially if there's any kind of medical issues that are starting to uh, develop. And you can kind of see down the road that um, it's going to be more and more difficult for care to be provided at home. Uh, in that case, you want to uh, start looking and decide. In the case of the lady I was mentioning, she's very good health herself. But she's very fearful what would happen if something hmm. occurred that suddenly cost her an emergency hospitalization. Where would she go? What would she do hmm. for? So she's also hooked up with a company like yours where she can um, get call in home care right into her home very quickly right. in an emergency and then can pursue placement as uh, it makes sense to her. Great. And so she's able to get, she has support now, and now she's looking for the next bend in the road if that ever, would ever come up. 
And just from our experience, I mean, from your experience and my experience with hospice and hospitals, hospitals, I have often found that usually what happens is the crisis occurs. Everyone flocks to the hospital room, and they're trying to make a decision on a dime, you know, on a Friday night or Saturday because dad's getting discharged on Sunday, uh, worst-case scenario, Monday, and they've got to make a plan. And what I'm hearing you say is, Let's talk. Let's have the conversation now. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it now. Do some planning. You don't have to act on it now, but at least everybody in the room knows what the plan would be. That's right. Perfect. You are listening to Health Futures. And I'm Paul Fredericks, sitting in for Bob Roth. I'm trying to fill his shoes, and we're trying to do that in a good job. We've got James behind the glass producing. He is the man today. And Mary Carpenter is our wonderful guest. We're so glad she's here from Adult Care Connection. Over 100 years of experience this company has with medical social workers. Give them a call today at 480-380-2348 or on the web at adultcareconnection.com. And we will be right back after this message. I'm Paul Fredericks, and you're listening to Healthcare Futures, Taking Stock in You. Volatility is coming back into the market. After a few generally peaceful up years in the market, 2015 has already had a number of sharp up and down moves, and these are likely to continue. If you're prepared for it, volatility is opportunity. If you're not, it can quickly wipe out years of gains in your portfolio. Learn how to get on the professional side of the trade, the right side of the trade, regardless of volatility. Check out online trading academies, the right side of the trade, Thursday at noon on Money Radio 1510. Now, here's Certified Income Specialist, Steve Jurich. Steve Jurich here. Are you making this annuity mistake? The most popular variable annuity on the market today has total fees of 4.15%. Not kidding. That puts you in direct violation of the 4% withdrawal rule on day one. Withdraw 5% for income on top of that, and you're depleting 9.15% of your money every year before making a dime. If you didn't just fall off a turnip truck and want to make a superior annuity decision, call me today. I track over 2,700 annuities and can guide you to the lowest cost, highest income, uncapped annuities on the market today with complete protection for your heirs. Call leading annuity authority Steve Jurich now. 480-902-3333. 480-902-3333. Guarantees rely on the claims paying ability of the insurer, so compare with Steve. 480 480- 902-3333. Call Steve now. It's an extremely valuable resource. It's found in offices, buildings, and schools. It's a resource that speaks volume, yet it never makes a sound. Everyone recognizes it. Everyone uses it. Interestingly enough, it's rarely discussed. Croy Sign Systems, designers and manufacturers of architectural and ADA signs since 1981. Let Croy be your resource for identification, direction, and information. Give Croy Signs a call at 480-619-6070 or online at kroysigns.com. For the latest in the world of golf, tune into Inside Golf every Monday morning at 718 right here on Money Radio. Inside Golf is brought to you by Botify and Cool Sculpting, where confidence takes shape. Now, back to Health Futures, taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. And sitting in for Bob Roth is myself, uh, Paul Fredericks. I'm so glad to be here sitting in for Bob. Uh, It's a great honor. And uh, he had an appointment, so we are flying solo today. And uh, we just listened to Glenn Campbell uh, by the time I get to Phoenix. And I tell you what, if you're out there today, uh, stop at your local restaurant or some other convenience store, grab a drink, because it is warm out there. We care about you. We care about your health. And uh, that's why the title of the con- uh, program is called Health Futures Taking Stock in You. Mary, when we left off uh, right before the last break, we were talking about a, a gal that was planning, even though she didn't have to do make a decision now, she was still planning. Um, and that leads into another subject that we mentioned off there, and that was some people think Medicare covers more than it actually does. 
Describe, first of all, what is Medicare, and then what does it cover, and where is it limited? Well, you know, Medicare is the, the uh, health insurance plan for people over 65, and um, most people are eligible for at least uh, a hospitalization portion and then through some other kinds of insurance uh, supplemental plans they can then have uh, what's called Part B which is outpatient services. But um, really from the standpoint of care that's about as far as Medicare goes. It covers acute, subacute, and possibly some rehab mm -hmm. kinds of services. And then, of course, it covers end of some end-of-life care services. But the period in between is the period where people have, uh, uh, are very shocked when they suddenly realize that there is no coverage for those long-term long care services. So, for example, it, it doesn't cover housing. Right. And it doesn't cover what we do with Cypress Home Care. I know that's probably one of the number one questions we get. Does Medicare cover Cypress Home Care services, Paul? And, you know, our response is no, but uh, the day may come when that happens because if we're looking at outcomes, one of the things that we do at Cypress is we make sure there are good outcomes, good results. Mm -hmm. uh, we protect people from falls. We protect them or we help them with their nutrition, their diet, meal preparation, menu planning, all kinds of things that we do to provide good outcomes in their home. But on the other side, Medicare doesn't provide for that, but there is something that does in Arizona, isn't it? What is that? That's the uh, Arizona Long-Term Care System. People refer to it as ALTEX, uh, as an acronym. Um, it does, uh, if you are uh, a very low income, it does uh, assist you in uh, paying for some of the long-term care uh, needs that you have. Um, many pe some people go uh, see attorneys, uh, long-term care planning attorneys, who help you to know how to arrange your finances so that you can uh, meet the eligibility requirements at some point in time when you need them. Uh, this would be particularly true of people who didn't have a great deal of money, assets, stocks, bonds, all of those kinds of um, kinds of um, financial means. Uh, it's important for people to look at their financial situation um, and and come up with an idea of what is affordable. Mm. And, uh, and how many years they can handle that uh, long-term care payment if it's private pay, and um, that's very hard to do because you don't, you can't project how long you're going to live. Exactly. And uh, so it makes it a, 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 to a real challenge to people. But many times when they call, we direct them kind of how to plan. Uh, we do talk briefly about their income situation. We're not um, financial advisors at all, but we do find out what, what, you know, what they might be eligible for. We check on their veteran status because there are some uh, veteran uh, possibilities that people can look into called aid and attendance, and that's also available to widowed spouses. Uh, if um, if their husband or wife has been in the military during the right. war. So mm -hmm. um, we try to point them in the direction of different um, financial situations. But overall, unless you've purchased long-term care insurance uh, sometime in the past through a cor uh, um, you know commercial right. means, then you're pretty much on your own. Uh, for paying for long-term care until you're indigent. Exactly. And you mentioned veteran benefits, the aid and attendant. I also found out recently that if you have a child with uh, disabilities and they are not able to work throughout their life, even as an adult, they too could qualify to receive some of that aid and attendant if uh, their father or mother was part of the military. I just found that out yesterday uh, from an, on another case. And um, so it's it's amazing that, that those resources are out there. Right. We just have to be uh, aware of them. And sometimes we need to call a company like Adult Care Connection to understand what is available to us. And can they can people call you 
and ask you those questions, sure. and you'll point them in the right direction. Yes. Because I know you guys can't do everything, but you have like great social workers. You're kind of like Batman. You've got a tool belt around you, and you've got all kinds of solutions that you can point people to, much like Cypress Home Care Solutions. And our phone is answered continuously from 8 to 5 uh, during the weekdays. And, um, that and Cammie answers Cammie, the phone. Cammie, that's right. <laughs> and Cammie's uh, very knowledgeable about the resources. And she then uh, gets uh, us involved um, from our initial interview. Super. Now let's get on the practical side as we're wrapping up the show today. What are some things that we can share with our listeners that would be practical suggestions as they're planning and preparing? Maybe someone's not even thinking about this today. What would you say to them? Well, I think one thing would be helpful is to to visit some long-term care um, situations themselves. They can do that um, without any necessarily being involved with an agency like ours where they um, are aware of the types of uh, communities that are mm-hmm. available here in Arizona. Right. Um, and then um, definitely evaluating their financial situation uh, definitely um, m- making some decisions about whether uh, the whole family is on the same page about uh, placement because um, many times when the crisis comes, one daughter will w- w- want one thing, one daughter will want another thing, one son will want them to come back east, and the the family, the client themselves is kind of torn apart in a time when they need to not have that kind of stress on them. we got less than a minute. I wanted to get your opinion before we close out. What do you think of the villages in Denmark, Holland, that I'm sorry, Holland, that are going on there uh, where they're actually setting up a village to care for dementia patients? Have you seen those articles? I have not. It is amazing. Um, the, the, the village that there, it's actually like a city, like a small city where they have shopping, like a, a grocery store and other things. And the, ki- the people that are helping out or caregiving for the dementia patients. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Right. You're listening to Health Futures, and my gosh, here we go. Another hour in the deep freeze, James. And uh, it goes by quick, quicker than real estate in Manhattan. I'm Paul Fredericks, and you're listening to Health Futures. And we are taking stock in you. Make it a great weekend, folks. There's no place like home. You've been listening to Bob Roth's Health Futures. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call Cypress Home Care Solutions at 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Or visit cypresshomecare.com. Be sure to join Health Futures with Bob Roth every Friday at noon, right here on Money Radio 1510 and 99.3 FM. I'm a freelance photographer, and I handle my own business. That's why I use QuickBooks Self-Employed. It's a simple program that helps me estimate my federal quarterly taxes and separate my business and personal expenses. Say I buy a new lens. The purchase pops up on my phone. I just swipe left to file it as a business expense. And tickets to a ball game with my kids, I swipe right to file as personal. Dad, I'm hungry. And swipe right for the hot dogs. That's how I own it. If you work for yourself, try QuickBook Self-Employed with a free 30-day trial. Learn more at QBSelfEmployed.com. Money Radio 1510. And 99.3 FM. Is KFNN Mesa Phoenix and K257 CD Phoenix. Any place you can connect with the net, you can connect with us. Just log on to moneyradio1510.com. Dow is up 65 points now during the close. The uh, NASDAQ down 29 and the S&P is flat. When people want to talk about money, this is the place they come to. And there's more on the way after this break for the latest news. And we begin 